How do conspiracy theories take hold? Our supply of seeds is gone. It's a disaster. This trail of seeds leads to Beetle. He must have taken our seeds. Don't jump to conclusions. How can you be so sure that it was Beetle? We haven't gathered enough clues yet. Spider, what do you think? Grasshopper's theory makes sense. Yesterday, Beetle was ogling your seeds. He must have decided to steal them in the night. Today, your seeds are gone, and now he's fast asleep. Grasshopper's theory makes sense. I give you that, Spider. But looking at all these leaves off the branches, and the nests fallen on the ground, isn't it more likely that the strong wind last night scattered our seeds around? Grasshopper, you are stuck. When you can't stand the uncertainty, you may be tempted by an intriguing story. A story that is simple and coherent and points to someone else as the villain. When we do not know how a new virus emerged, we may speculate that evil scientists created it in their lab. But we should wait and gather more evidence. Because once we commit to a theory, it is difficult to give it up.